Hello, and welcome to today's math lesson. So first of all, guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera? Hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our laps, and close our eyes. When you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Excellent. And next we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we can begin by stretching up high to the sky. High as we can. And then let's go down low. Touch your toes. Back up high one more time. And this time, can we go tippy toe high? And while we're there, let's have a wave side to side. And then back down to touch your toes once more. And then stand up, guys, and have a shake. Arms and legs, shake it out. Shake it out. And now hands on hips, and we'll have a wiggle side to side. Nice wiggle side to side. Stop. Another wiggle side to side. Wiggle side to side. Stop. Forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards, and stop. Next, we can go round and round. Round and round. And stop. And now, the other way. Give our spines a nice stretch. Round and round the other way. And stop. And to finish, guys, we will do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So today, in math class, we've reached the end of the section that we've recently been studying about. Now, what, have, what topic in math have we been doing a lot of work with, guys? Angles. angles. Yes, we've been doing lots of work with angles recently. So today is our review lesson. So let's write that phrase on the board first. How do we spell angles, guys? A N G L E S. Angles. And today is a review lesson. So let's write review. R E V I E W. So all together, angles. Review. Yes. And what we learnt about in math class is all of the different types of angles. 
But in order for us to measure an angle and find out what type of angle it is, what tool do we use? Protractor. Protractor, that's correct. So let me draw a diagram of a protractor now, and then we can go through it and decide on what the different types of angles are. So a protractor usually looks something like this. It's a semicircle, and it always starts at zero degrees, okay? So we go from zero degrees, and then when we get to the top of the semicircle, how many degrees is here? 90, 90 degrees. And then, if we follow it all the way around to here, 180 degrees. Well done, guys. Well remembered. So now, after zero degrees, we know that the protractor goes up in stages of 10 degrees each time. Now, can anybody remember the name of the angles that go from zero degrees to 90 degrees? What are them type? Acute angles, yes. Any angles that are from here to here, acute. 1 to 89 degrees are acute angles. And then, when we reach 90 degrees, is another specific type of the angle. What angle is 90 degrees? Right angle. right angle. Can a right angle be less than 90? No. Can it be more? No. Correct. A right angle is always 90 degrees. R, I, G, H, T. Always 90 degrees. And then after 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, all the way through to 180 degrees. Now from 91 degrees to 179, what type of angle? Not acute, we have obtuse, well done. All of the angles in this category, obtuse. But then, when we reach 180 degrees, can anybody remember what this angle is? That's a straight line. Straight angle, yes. The clue is in the name. The right angle is always 90 degrees. The straight angle is always 180 degrees. S T R A I G H T. Excellent, guys. So we've gone from zero degrees to 180 with the acute angles, the right angle, the obtuse angle, and the straight angle. But we learnt also that we can go further. We can go all the way around to a full circle. Now, can anybody remember what is the type of angle that goes all the way from 180 degrees to 360 degrees? Beginning with R. Re reflex. Reflex angles are the very large ones that can be from 180 to 360. R E F L E X. Any angle that is in this category is a reflex angle. But then, when we reach the full circle, 360 degrees. What do we call an angle that is a complete circle? Full rotation. full rotation, yes. A full rotation is always 360 degrees. Or you may hear it referred to as a different name. Complete, complete angle. Well, it's also a complete circle. But when we're talking about angles, complete angle. And there we have a complete circle which shows us all of the different types of angles we can measure with a protractor. So first of all, guys, acute angles, right angle, obtuse angles, straight angle, reflex angles, and then finally, when we get to the full circle, we've got a full rotation angle or complete angles. Guys, that was very well done, very well remembered. 
And because today is a review lesson, what we've got now is a PowerPoint presentation for our students to practice speaking, observing and listening to the different functions and ways in which we can measure angles. So let's turn to look at the TV screen, please, guys. So let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation, Angles Review. Yes, we'll look at the things that we've learned already in previous lessons. Two line segments or rays with a common end point form an angle. You can see here the point where the two lines meet is where the angle is created. The common end point is called the vertex of the angle. Yes, vertex basically means the head of the angle. But when we talk about angles, there's a special name, the vertex. BA and BC are two line rays that form an angle. We can see BA here and then BC here. The two different lines that meet to form the angle. The common end point is point B. You see, it can never be anything else. It's labeled B. So, point B is the vertex of the angle. Because we've learned already how we can refer to angles and lines by giving them points or references. The angle is named ABC or CBA. The symbol for angle ABC is written as this symbol here. You see it? It looks like an angle without the vertex. And then ABC. The symbol for angle CBA is written as angle symbol CBA. So they can go both ways, but always remember the vertex point has to be the letter in the middle. It can never be the beginning letter or the end letter. When naming an angle, the vertex point is always in the middle. You see, like I said earlier, B always has to be the middle letter because that's the vertex point. There are various types of angles based upon the distance between the two lines. Yes, like the exercise we did earlier, based upon the size of an angle with degrees, we can tell what type of angle it is. And we can see all the different types of angles here that we've learned already. Right angles. A right angle is always exactly 90 degrees. Can't be more and can't be less. Always has to be 90 degrees. And next we have acute angles. So what size is this acute angle in the picture? 45 degrees, yes. An acute angle is always less than 90 degrees. Acute angles can be different sizes, but always less than 90 degrees. Like you can see here in this picture, a various selection of acute angles, all different, but all less than 90 degrees. 
So all acute angles. And then we have obtuse angles. How big is this obtuse angle? 106 degrees, correct. You can see by judging the lines and the vertex. It says here 106 degrees. An obtuse angle is always more than 90 degrees and less than 180 degrees. Obtuse angles can be different sizes, but always more than 90 degrees. So similar to acute angles, the only difference is the obtuse angles are bigger. Acute angles less than 90, obtuse angles more than 90. But then when we reach 180 degrees, straight angles. Now, can a straight angle be less than 180 degrees? No. Can a straight angle be more than 180 degrees? No. No. A straight angle can only ever be 180 degrees. Similarly, a right angle has to be 90 degrees. A straight angle is two right angles. So only 180 degrees. A straight angle is an angle that is equal to two right angles. Yes, 90 plus 90 equals 180. And then we've got reflex angles. How big is this reflex angle? 230 degrees. So now, notice how big the angles are getting. Look at the vertex. It's not on the inside anymore. Here would be obtuse. But the reflex angle is even bigger. So the vertex is on the outside. Reflex angles are always more than 180 degrees and less than 360 <coughs> degrees. Yes. And finally, we've got the full rotation. Now, how many degrees for a full rotation? Can it be more? No. Can it be less? No. no. How many right angles is a full rotation? Four. Yes. Think of a right angle, 90 degrees. Four times 90 equals? Four. Four times 90 equals 360. A full rotation angle is four right angles that are placed together. And you can see here on this protractor, you see the first right angle, zero to 90, then 90 to 180, second right angle, 180 to 270 degrees, third right angle, and finally, 270 to 360. So we've got four right angles. The instrument used to measure the size of angles is known as a protractor. Yeah, so that's the tool we've learned about in lessons recently. The protractor is the tool to measure angles. Angles are measured in a unit called degrees. And we know now this symbol, the small semicircle after the numbers, represents degrees. So instead of writing the degrees all the time after the numbers, we can just draw a small semicircle and we know that means degrees. For example, 60 degrees is written as 60 and then small, sim small circle. So we know that that means 60 degrees. And we know by now the steps to draw an angle. The first step is always to mark the line 
from zero degrees to the vertex. And then, using your protractor, measure the size of the angle you want to make. For example, here, it's a 40 degree angle. So we go from the vertex, 10, 20, 30, 40. And then mark the point at 40 degrees. And then, by using the straight line of your protractor, you can join the vertex to the point at 40 degrees to create your angle. Any questions, guys? That was excellent, very well done. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation so that they could review all of the things we've learned about angles. Particularly important is how to measure angles and categorize them into the correct groups. Because depending on the size of the angle determines how we will refer to it. And also get used to using the tool known as a protractor because that will help us in future to measure angles. And coming up, we've got a flashcards exercise for our students to practice further. But before then, guys, time for our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And for this stretch sequence, we'll begin with some rotations. So let's go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Very good, guys. And now we'll do five stretches to our right. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. Next, we can do five stretches to our left. One, two, Three, four, five. Excellent. Okay. And now we can take our right hand and find our left foot. Left hand, right foot. Right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. Right hand, left foot. Left hand, right foot. And now let's shake it out again, guys. Arms and legs, shake it out. And to finish, we're going to do five star jumps. One, two. Three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So now it's time for our flashcards exercise where we'll have our students practice and demonstrate how to draw the correct size angles. So we can leave the protractor on the board for our students to refer to and they can draw the angles either side of the protractor. And remember, our students are only really estimating. So as long as it's close enough, we can accept it as a correct answer. So teachers, what you need to do is print off the flash sheet for the lesson and cut each of the different angles into flashcards. Fold them and then place them into a bowl or a tray like this. And then we'll have our students come forward and practice showing how to draw the correct angles. So let's see. The first student today will be Laka. Come and join me at the front of class, please. So Lakau gets first choice at the angle. So can you choose a flashcard, Lakau, and show your friends? One hundred degrees. Okay. So Lakau, what I'd like you to do is using the diagram of the protractor we have here. Can you draw an angle of around one hundred degrees in this space here? Okay. So remembering that we always start at zero degrees to the middle for the vertex, where 100 degree angle will go. What do we think, guys? Does that look like 100 degrees? Because we start at zero to the vertex, we know straight up is 90 degrees, 
So another 10 degrees on might be 100 degrees. So Lackau, can you draw your vertex and the angle size using the angle symbol? So vertex, 100 degrees. Perfect. You see, Lackau has shown how to draw an angle that goes with 100 degrees and then demonstrate it using a symbol. Now, 100 degree angle, is that acute or obtuse? Obtuse, yes, you can see that the 100 degree angle is in the obtuse section. Anything less than 90 is acute, but anything more than 90 is obtuse. So, Lackau, that was brilliant. High five and a big round of applause for Lackau, please, guys. So, teachers, you can see the activity that we're doing in our classroom now. You can pause the video and do the same activity with your own students. And remember to choose a different student each time for them to come forward, select a flashcard, and then demonstrate how to draw the angle. And we're going to carry on playing here for the next 10 to 12 minutes. So see you again soon. See who can go next. Down, come and join me at the front of class, please. Now it's Down's turn to choose a flashcard. And show it to your friends, please, Dan. Okay, how many degrees? Okay, so we've got 100 degrees already. Now we're looking for a larger angle, 145 degrees. 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 145 degrees. So, Dan, can you demonstrate in this space here a 145 degree angle? So zero degrees to vertex, and then larger. Vertex, one, four, five degrees. Perfect. So you can see how Lackau's 100 degree angle is this size, but Down has drawn a larger angle because 145 is larger than 100. But what type of angle is this, guys? Is this obtuse or reflex angle? Obtuse. Yes, we're still in the obtuse category. Even though it's larger than 100, both angles are still in the obtuse category. So we can say 145 degrees, obtuse angle. Dan, that was brilliant. High five and a big round of applause for Dan, please, guys. Now for our next student for the next angle. And this time, I would like Pat to come and join me at the front of class. Now it's Pat's turn to choose a flashcard. So choose a flashcard, Pat, and show it to your friends. How many degrees? 170. Okay, 170. So we know 180 degrees is here. That's a straight angle. So we want 170 to be just short of a straight angle. So Pat, can you demonstrate in this space here an angle of 170 degrees? Looks good to me. What do we think, guys? What do we think of Pat's 170 degree angle? Look okay? What type of angle is 170 degrees? Still in obtuse. The three cards that we've picked first have all been obtuse angles. So we can say, guys, 170 degrees, obtuse angle. Pat, that was brilliant. High five and a big round of applause for Pat, please, guys. Student. Nadia, come and join me at the front of class, please. And now it's Nadia's turn to choose a flashcard. Okay, 80 degrees. So let's see. We know a right angle is 90 degrees. So this time we're going shorter than a right angle. Where 100 degrees went that way, 80 degrees will go this way. So, Nadia. 
Can you show an angle of 80 degrees? Zero to vertex, and then we're going in slightly. Looks good to me. What do we think, guys? Look good for 80 degrees? Yeah. Okay, so vertex and 80 degrees. Okay, so what type of angle is 80 degrees? Acute, yes, now we're into the acute section. So we can say 80 degrees, acute angle. Nadia, that was brilliant. High five and a big round of applause for Nadia, please, guys. <laughs> now I would like to invite Pangpon to come and join me at the front of class. Now it's Pangpon's turn to choose an angle or a flash card. How many degrees? 300 degrees. Wow, 300 degrees. Okay, so we've got one right angle, 90 degrees. Two right angles, 180 degrees. Three right angles, 270 degrees here. So Pangpon has to draw an angle of around 300 degrees. So we go from zero to the vertex and then have to find 270. So Pangpon, can you draw an angle of 200, sorry, 300 degrees? So 270 is here, you need to go in slightly. That looks brilliant. But remember guys, what do we need to do with the vertex for the large angles? Does the vertex go on the inside or the outside? Outside, well done. And then we can write 300 degrees. Bang pun, that's brilliant. But what type of angle is 300 degrees? Reflex. reflex angles, yes. Once we're over 180, we're into the reflex angles column. So we can say 300 degrees, 300 degrees. reflex angle. Bang pun, that was brilliant. High five. And a big round of applause for Pangpong, please, guys. <laughs> and let's do one more together before we move on to the worksheet activity. So, Pakpung, come and join me at the front of class, please. Pakpung can choose a flashcard and show to class. Wow, 350 degrees. So 360 degrees is a full rotation. We want an angle just less than a full rotation, Pakpung. Can you do it for us? Okay, can you use this space here, please? So zero to vertex. That looks good to me. But let's see what Pakpung does with the vertex. Yes, has to be on the outside because the angle goes all the way around. And what type of angle is 350 degrees? Acute? Reflex. Reflex. So we can say 350 degrees, reflex angle. Pak Bung, that was brilliant. High five, big round of applause for Pak Bung, please, guys. <laughs> and now it's time for our worksheet activity. So teachers, make sure every student in your class gets their own worksheet. And what we want our students to do is in the first part of the worksheet is to look at the different angles and then to write using the protractor or even the protractor they have in their heads now to decide what type of angle is it. Acute, obtuse, reflex, right angle or straight angles. Looking at the size of the angle, our students should be able to tell now which one it is. So that's the first 10 questions. But then the next 10 questions, the angle is given in degrees. So they can do the same thing. They can look at number 11, 84 degrees, and by now should be able to say, 84 degrees is here, so that means acute angle. So give our students around 10 to 12 minutes for this activity and just monitor the class and help them with anything they need. But what's the first thing to do, guys? Names on top. So, Ned, this one's for you. Thank you, Mr. 
you're, you're welcome. welcome. Hattie, who's yours? Thank you. You're welcome. Nadia, for you? Thank you. You're welcome. Chu, for you? Thank you? You're welcome. Zan, who's yours? Thank you. You're welcome. Prel, for you? Thank you? You're welcome. Nakao, here's yours? And Bang Bang, for you? Thank you. You're welcome. So first 10 questions, look at the size of the angle. The first angle goes from zero degrees to the vertex, and then it goes to here. So looking at our protractor, zero to vertex, and into here, what type of angle do we have? Obtuse. Obtuse, yes. This angle, the first one, falls into the obtuse section. So we don't have to write the number of degrees, just the type of angle that it is. So the first one net, you can write obtuse. And the vocabulary is on the board for you, or it's also on your worksheet. Obtuse. Perfect. So what do we think of this one? So if it starts here, and then it's here. Do we think it's more than 90 degrees or less than? Less than. So Nadia, what type of angle is less than 90 degrees? Acute angle. Excellent. Well done. You see, you're using the knowledge that you've learned. Now you're telling what type of angle it is by yourselves. Well done, guys. The first 10, I think, are more difficult because you need to judge the size of the angle. 11 to 20, you can just look at the angle in degrees. Okay. So zero to vertex to here will be zero to vertex to here is acute. It might help sometimes if you move the paper too. So what do you think? What's straight? What type of angle is a straight angle? Hey, what type of angle is a straight line? Straight angle. Remember, if it's 90 degrees, it's right angle. Straight line, straight angle. So what do we think? Hang on, if our angle goes from zero to vertex to here, what category? Not obtuse, acute. Yes, correct, you see. If you move your paper to here, you can see horizontal line, vertical line is a right angle. Yes, very small, about two degrees is an acute angle. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity where they had to demonstrate their knowledge of the angles they've learned already by correctly deciding what category of angle it is by using the protractor on the board. My students here have all done an excellent job. So guys, that was really well done. And that brings us to the end of the lesson and also to the end of the section learning about angles. So we hope by now that you know how to measure your own angles and also decide what type of angle it is based on size. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we turn to wave and say goodbye guys? Goodbye, see you again soon.